Today, we are going to talk about stroke recognition and how the fact that you learning one simple acronym could save your life or the life of a loved one. The objective today is you, the student, using all the resources provided, including handouts, will be able to recite the acronym Be Fast and what each piece means. Before we get started in the training portion of this, um, something that I, questions that come up that I, I'm sure that at this point you're going, asking yourself is one, I've never had a stroke. I'm young. I'm healthy. I'm not an 80 year old person. I don't have high blood pressure that's uncontrolled. I don't have diabetes and obese and uh, all these things that would contribute to someone having a stroke or what we think of someone having a stroke. Why should I care? Well, those are all valid questions and valid statements. But allow me to introduce someone to you. For the purposes of this training, we'll call her Amy. Uh, Amy is a real person. This did happen. She's 36 years old, a uh, school teacher. Um, she is young, obviously. She's a picture of health. Uh, she didn't have any health problems. She exercised on a regular basis. She had children out of her own. Um, she was living a very normal life, as most of us and most of you on this recording and this training are. You're going about your day. You're in school. You're doing the things that you would normally do, uh, feeling good. Except for one day, last summer, Amy got to this, had this sudden onset where she could not speak. She had no idea what was going on. And she unfortunately had one of the, it was one of the most severe subsets of a stroke. Uh, they call it a large vessel occlusion. It means it affects a massive part of the brain, a very large portion of the brain. And for her, that had, it, it could have been devastating for her. But luckily, she had her son who was home. She physically could not call 911 herself. So the things could have, the stars all aligned. She couldn't, she could not speak to tell anyone that something was wrong. Um, she couldn't really comprehend that, that physical aspect, the connection between her thoughts and between her physical actions was disconnected because of this stroke uh, that she was having. Her son recognized, fortunately, recognized that she was having something that was going on with her. She couldn't figure it out, but he did. He figured out something was wrong and he called 911 and she was transferred and transported to the hospital where she was appropriately taken care of and she got to the appropriate facility and almost immediately when they removed the clot that was in her brain, she was able to regain her speech. She was able to regain a lot of the things in her life. A year later, with a little bit of lots of rehab and things like that, with she has very minor deficits. And if you didn't know it, she would know that she had a stroke. Um, and that is because the signs and symptoms were recognized by EMS. The son, the son found figured out something was wrong, called 911, EMS figured it out, and transferred her to the right place. So this could be something that could be you. She's not old. Like a lot of people, you know, and so who am I and how am I, how am I supposed to even speak of this, right? I'm the EMS outreach coordinator for the U of L health uh, stroke systems of care. Uh, I'm a retired paramedic with 30 years and I have seen repeatedly times over 30 years, lots of ends of the spectrum with, with stroke care. Uh, and her, Ms. Amy's stroke could have resulted in her spending the rest of her life in a nursing home, having someone take care of the most simple of basic care needs, like brushing her teeth or feeding her or personal care. Someone else could have easily had to do that. And to me, that would be worse than even dying. Um, just a different perspective. But the thing is, is that she could have, the results could have turned out a whole lot worse for her. Uh, and I've seen, I've seen these things happen repeatedly so many times. So with that, I want to introduce to you an acronym. Okay. It's called be fast when it comes to stroke, be fast and call nine one one. Okay. B B is for balance. Okay. 
B is for balance. This is a sudden loss of balance, meaning this isn't like, well, I've been dizzy and kind of for a few weeks. No, they are otherwise normal. Now they are not. They're falling and they can't get up. Eyes. This is for vision. Okay, you check for vision loss. Maybe they tell you that their blur, their vision is blurred. Maybe they can't see out of one eye, things like that. Their face, this is something you will physically see and we'll show you pictures of each one of these in just a second so that you can kind of reinforce this piece in your mind. One side of the face is drooped down, okay? Arms, this is for weakness, arm weakness or paralysis, meaning they can't pick their arm up. They hold their arms up and one arm just, just stays on the ground. It, hits, it just flops right back down to the, to the bedside. They have no use of it or it's just weakness in that arm, okay? The next one is speech. They either have slurred speech. One minute they're fine talking to you. The next minute it sounds kind of garbled and they can't really get their words out real well. You're like, you can't understand what they're saying. Or they can't speak at all like Amy. And the last part of this acronym is TIME. Call 911. Time is of the essence. Time lost is brain lost that you'll never get back. Okay. So a real general question a lot of people would have is what is a stroke? Okay. Uh, it's a loss of blood supply to the brain. It could be caused from a clot or an artery could rupture and cause hemorrhaging into the brain. But the fact is that there's a loss of blood supply to a portion of the brain. And depending on where that, that loss happens, dictates what symptoms they have. Okay. So balance. Again, sudden loss of balance. This person is fallen. They've tried to get up off the couch and they fell because they got dizzy and they fell. And I thought there was something a little funnier in here with this little guy here. He's slipping on the water. But the point is, hopefully you get the point. This sudden, sudden loss of balance. Okay. Their eyes. E is for eyes. Sudden loss of vision or blurred vision. You may have to ask them. This might be something they say, gosh, I can't really see real well. Uh, what's going on? Like they're trying to, trying, to get their, trying to get their bearings. If they see doubles or multiples or their vision is blurred or they lose vision in one eye. Uh, e is for eyes, for vision, call 911. Their face. This is something you will physically see. Their face. Sudden, sudden droop of the face, mouth on one side. This top picture here, as you can see, her right side, she has nice normal tone. The eyes are up on the left side, same side here. There, this is very, this is what could be a, unless you know this person, this might be hard to recognize because you might think, well, okay, maybe that's normal for them. But if you look down here, have them smile, one side doesn't come up at all. She's, this, this cheeks are coming up, the one side just staying flaccid call 911. Arms, arm weakness or the loss of use, meaning one arm is paralyzed and it just, they can't use it at all. Maybe they're holding it. Maybe they're not holding it. But the point is that one side of their arms, like one side, one arm, right or left, they can't use. Okay. So A is for arms. S is for speech. Be fast. S is for speech. Sudden loss of, of speech, or they're unable to speak, or they have slurred speech, meaning you can't hear them. You can't recognize what it is they're saying. It just doesn't quite make sense to you. Unable to speak should be kind of obvious for you. They can't speak, and maybe they have one or more. So T for be fast, T time is call 911 ASAP. The longer this goes, the more damage that we have, and the more likely are that they're not they're gonna have they're gonna end up in the nursing home spending their life doing that, having people take care of them on, on taking care of their, their personal care needs. So be fast. So we're gonna talk about a little recap here, and this is where I want you to help me recite this with me. Um, be fast. There's B E F A S T, the be fast acronym. B stands for. If you said balance, you're correct. Balance, be fast. The B-E-E -E stands for 
eyes. And if you said eyes, you are correct. That's a sudden loss of vision or blurred vision. B fast, F is for face. That's for an uneven smile or facial droop. A in the B fast is arms. And then S is for speech, slurred speech, unable to speak. T is for time, call 911 ASAP.